Noah picked this one for the gang. Thank you, Noah. Guess my zodiac sign. I figured this would be Ryan's favorite episode to date. We're both Virgos. Gemini. Rob's a Gemini. Um, oh, you're a Gemini? Yeah, unfortunately. Oh, oh only Virgos yeah. react at this station. Yeah, sorry, you can't be in this one. Yeah, everyone hates Gemini's. I'm two-faced. You know, I've watched some of our reaction videos back. I'm like, wow, I came across mean in that one. Or sometimes I'm like, we hockey funny. This one, I want to try to be nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. is something that I hate with a passion. And I don't use the word hate very often. I absolutely hate this, and I haven't watched it. But I am going to be nice. I got Gemini up next. Gemini. Gemini. Hey, hey. what do you know about Gemini? That nobody likes them. <laughs> I knew it, see, I just... Are you a fan of Zodiac sign? It's my only personality trait. A lot of people believe in them too much, I would say, and uh, a lot of people don't care, like myself. <laughs> so. I'm an amateur astrologer. <laughs> so you think you're pretty qualified to do this? Yeah, I think so. What's your least favorite sign? Scorpios. Libra women, just because they're petty and they love drama, and they're mean. <laughs> People have found out I'm a Gemini my first day of meeting them and they have completely hated me. No reason. What is your sign? It's a Leo. I'm a Scorpio sun, Sag moon, Pisces rising. So, okay. <laughs> Ryan's not gonna be able to get through this. <laughs> there's no way, this is a long ass video. I'm gonna have trouble making it through. Again, this is a first world thing. So the people in Haiti who are struggling to get by after they just got back from an earthquake damage and they're living in hut made of cardboard and tin, they don't speak about things like this. They don't check their horoscope app every day? Believe it or not, they don't. Oh. Mm. They live in actual harsh reality. Well, I mean, that's her whole personality trait. She just said that. If astrology is real and everyone who's born in this month tends to act this way, explain twins. There's more factors than just the fact that you're born on this day. Just the other day, I was asked by a fine lady, oh, and what's your sign? And I said, you guess it, Leo, whatever. Mm -hmm. I said, that's it? She said, I knew it. <laughs> you can't fight it. You've tried that. Y yeah, yeah. It, do it doesn't work. It doesn't work. You're using logic and reason versus whimsical fairy tales. Trying to win an argument with a smart person is difficult. Trying to win an argument with an idiot is impossible. You ready? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna bring the line out. That's a lot of people. <laughs> How's it going? I feel all this energy on my back. Yeah. We're gonna go in order. Look at the sign. Tell me what you know it's, about It's you get a one out of 12 chance. Aries are definitely one of those people that I find um, mysterious because I just, they don't come up in my life. I know nothing about Aries. I'm gonna come it's with all just a guessing game. Yeah. Like. One out of 12. When do you get struck by the astrology god? Is it right when your head comes out of the womb? Is it when your whole body, when is the... Is it when, when you're first conceived at the beginning of the night? When the umbilical cord is cut and then that's the time. Exactly. How do you know? Who's tracking that? Whenever you're born, you're born at a certain thing, and that's what makes your personality. The stars and whatever, they have the ability to make you charismatic. Does oh. that make any sense at all? Let's imagine okay. Baby Rob. Uh, when was your birthday exactly? June 8th. June 8th. 1996. Okay, nighttime, morning? Early morning. It's bright and early, <laughs> and uh, you're in the, your mother's womb. So why is it that the astrology gods aren't yeah. working on you just yet? Is it when your head pops out and then boom, that's when you get hit with all the personality traits? Yeah. Or do you have to come out all the way and then boom, that's when you get hit with the personality yeah. traits. And if that's the case, when it hits you here, how does the stars and universe know to hit you when you're out versus a few minutes before the only thing that separated yeah. you from the real world was a flap of skin. Yeah, because it matters what time you're born, right? That's what everyone says. Well, how could that be possible when this, from the power of Saturn <laughs> and the thing, it can't penetrate the yeah. womb and then boom. Oh yeah, now it works. Yeah, I don't get that. That doesn't even start to make an ounce of sense. There's as much proof of astrology as there is of the tooth fairy. And that's a factual statement. I think you might be Aries. Off yeah. the looks. I'm gonna go right here. Can you tell me about Aries? So an Aries is a fire sign. Fire sign people are typically more outgoing. They have a lot of friends typically, and they're very bubbly, I think. All right. Well, it's all typically and I think and... Um, I like painting. So that's not giving Aries to me. Can I have you step back in line? Who here would identify themselves as an extrovert? I want to say she's the most bubbly to me. Okay. Even bubbly to me. 
So I think you're an Aries because you got really nice cheekbones. Huh? I'm gonna make a wild guess here. This is all hoopla, obviously. At the end of this, the girl who's really into it is not going to do any better than the other people. And if she does, it'll be marginally, it won't be like unnoticeable. Wow, she got most of them right. There's be, no this, this is, way. This is straight luck. You either gonna get three, four, if you get all 12, God bless your soul. Yeah. But there's no way. If she gets even half of them right, I will let Rob slap me in the face. Just by the way you raised your hand, it was giving me Aries. It was giving Aries. Okay, this guy's trolling. No, yeah, he's just saying anything. He's trolling, now. he's trolling. Yeah, I would say that like I have- <laughs> He doesn't give a fuck. For friends, I mm -hmm. care about a lot of people and vice versa. Okay, I feel pretty confident in this one. So I'm going to dub the Aries. Oh, I love that, dub the. What do you know about Aries? Uh, I know Aries are more like confrontational people. Uh -huh. They're aggressive. You, you go hard? I mean, yeah, they either go There's a different explanation for every person. <laughs> Let's go. Come on, put the shit on. It's hard to keep track of everyone, too. Compliment that you get. That I'm smart. Okay, here you go. Aries. Thank you. They love being right, so like being told that you're smart. Yeah, I'm not sure what we're watching here. <laughs> no, this is like watching, <laughs> what are we watching? fairy tales. <laughs> I think this would be an earth sign. Good guess. Everyone in the back? Yeah. Good guess. Probably. Well grounded. Physically, Taurus has like good job. These broad explanations. Taurus be hungry. They also are very materialistic. Bro, a lot of people. Okay. You're nice today, remember? You're right. You're right, Virgos bro. don't get mad. Yeah. Virgos are very calm. Actually, I should look up how I'm supposed to act and then start acting like it. This is 17 minutes long. Should we just go to the end and see how, how much they got right, right? I, uh huh. I think you're a Gemini. Who hears this? But then Scorpios are aggressive. Yeah, every question you ask, you got more than five people raising their hands. So it's like. So there's six people that said they're an extrovert, but they only got one sign for each person. Any, mini, miny, mo. You say what's on your mind. If I'm not on the same page, we're done. That makes me kind of sad. Sorry. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> you said you were very picky with who you date. Kind of a perfectionist, right? Uh huh. Literally everyone. Picky with who they date. <laughs> I don't care too much for Scorpios. Every Scorpio I've met that's a man is kind of short. I'm so sorry, but <laughs> come here. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I thought they were just personality traits, not physical. Scorpios are short now, yeah. Make up whatever you want day, that's what this is. What's your name? My name is Carlos. Carlos, are you scared of commitment? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I you like so. talking to multiple people at one time? Oh, <laughs> uh, it happens, I mean. <laughs> it's and like, watch, just it's say be... it. If you want to talk to multiple people, that's fine. Just own it. Scorpio men don't own it. You get angry, and, like have an actual reason for it. I always have a reason for my anger. That's logical? Very logical. To everybody or just Everyone. you? Everyone. Mm. <laughs> Mainly me though. Mainly me. Hello, look at that. What do we got next? Sag we have there Sagittarius we next. The first Sagittarius that comes to my brain is Ronnie from Jersey Shore. Oh my god. Who is I'm like not following. This absolute delusion. Sorry, I can't be nice today. I tried for 15 seconds, honestly, I really did. So this expert girl, she should get most of them right. How many did she have to get right for you to get slapped? 50%, at least 50%, which in a school terms would be completely failing. <laughs> you got a 50% on the test. Yeah. I wouldn't claim I'm like a pro astrology person. You think she plays safe by saying an amateur astrologist? Who's a pro astrologist? Like, how would you be? It's not a real, it's a pseudoscience. It's not a real thing. Yeah, you just make it up, whatever. Let's see the results. How do you think you did? I hope I did really good. Well, there's 12 here. How many do you think you got correct? Like eight of them. I'd be happy. Uh -oh. There's no it. way. Uh -oh. I'm good with one, but I'm hoping two. With a show of hands, how many did Simone guess correctly? Oh my God. Bro. I oh! No <laughs> What did I? She said, oh, I can't believe it. She got one. She said, I only got eight. And that was luck. And she's a Leo this and a flip, 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 Capri Sun, cucumber, flip and flap, east, rising, falling, X equals negative B plus or minus square root of, boom. Now, if somebody actually backstabs you, no, it's because they're Scorpio. Of course, I should have seen that coming. But let's see what she has to say. Yeah, let me hear something real good. Maybe it, it wasn't long enough to get people's personality. I yeah. didn't know the exact time, like, with the rising. Or yeah, why didn't I say rising? Yeah, there's going to be some sort of, like, BS excuse. You study birds, and they say identify 
species, here's the names. You would go boop, 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 boop. And if you're moderately good with judging birds, you get maybe most of them correct because that's a real factual thing based upon facts. This is all hoopla, fairy tale, fluff, marshmallow fluff. Of course you're only gonna get, you have a one in 12 chance with all these people. Of course you're gonna end up only getting one by happenstance. What would be a better concept is guess your gender or guess your pronouns. <laughs> oh God. Guess your pronouns would be a good cut one, I think. They're gonna do that, they're probably gonna do that yeah. one next. <laughs> Three? Yeah, that's not bad. Wow. And the guy who doesn't even believe in it got the most. What? Fuck yeah. Let's go. Will everybody switch to the right sign? Like it oh, matters. This is fucking stupid. So I got you. Oh, it's you. stupid it's now. stupid now. Aww. Yeah, like astrology. Scorpio. Yeah. And you're obviously a Capricorn. Obviously. Yeah. Don't know how I didn't see it. How do you feel about astrology, all this? I love astrology, but I'm an earth and space science major, so gotcha. I'll get like laughed out of the building if I'm like, <laughs> sorry, I'm being a Capricorn. Step forward, please. Yo. So I'm a Cancer. Cancer. Guess me as a Leo. And do you get that a lot? I do, Leo or Gemini. See, big boobs. That's yeah, what I, I said. Say oh, that. fuck. Oh, and my, my friends say I give great hugs yes. just because they're short and they put their head yes. here. So yeah. I should have done that. Yeah. I think I said you're Libra. Yeah. I am a Libra rising. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, yeah, and Le rising is like your appearance. So I was like kind of there. Gemini. Shoot. <laughs> How do you feel about being a Gemini? I think it's pretty accurate. I kind of resonate with being a Gemini. I'm sorry, uh, it's just off of appearance. You didn't get to make me laugh. Geminis are funny, I'm taking yeah. it all back. I'm giving you compliments now. Okay. So what if he's not a funny guy? I'm telling you right now, that guy is not funny. So doesn't that blow the lid off the whole thing? Well, unless it's rising to something else. What's the point of the main thing? There's exactly. No well, it's not, you're rising, falling, this and that. So if it's actually three different signs, then what's the point of labeling him a Gemini if the Gemini traits don't apply to him? Someone's called me Two-Face, to my face. It is also a sign that mirrors people's signs, so if they don't like you, it's because they don't like, like themselves. themselves. This is the funny guy, by the way. Uh. Hello. Okay. And I got you, I guess, Did. Taurus. Nailed it. Oh yeah. my gosh. I'm a true Taurus. Okay. From what I know, there are, everyone has more than one sign. Yeah. Sun, moon, rising. Sun, moon, rising. My rising is Sun, moon, moon, rising. Okay. Yeah. So you were able to read me really well, but she didn't even know. Because but everything I'm you said, yeah. Everyone I got wrong just didn't have enough Gemini in them. That's why I got it wrong. <laughs> you guessed I was a Leo. Yeah. I got the fire right. You did. And I am a Leo rising. And th like this, this is the second time someone See? has guessed I'm a Leo in this. Oh my god. Yeah. I don't know a lot of Aries yeah. at all. We get a bad rap. She went from, it's stupid, to, See, I knew that. It's not my fault. I'm always right. I think Aries is the best of the Zodiac, though. We are the firstborn. Firstborn? Firstborn of the Zodiac sign. It's the first sign of the Zodiac. Yeah. Oh. So like everyone just kind of follows us as they should, you know, know your place, stay in your lane and just follow me. That's the best way to do it. If you know an Aries, congratulations. How's it going? So great. Yeah. I love Virgos. How do you feel about yeah. astrology? Uh, I was really into it when I was younger, but then this is going to sound bad. I grew up. He said I was into it when I was younger and then I grew up. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, brother. I can tell you right now, me and Ryan don't have any similarities to this motherfucker right Yeah, here. hey, that's your boy. <laughs> we're supposed to all be acting the same and appearance-wise apparently too, because yeah. appearance matters. We don't believe in it either though, but we're Virgos. Maybe it's a Virgo thing, did not believe in it. Thank you, sir. I used to believe in it and then I grew up. And then you started having critical thinking skills and you started going, hmm, maybe it's not Saturn, which is why I'm always procrastinating. Maybe it's just my I own suck. discipline and I just don't. <laughs> I mean, actually try hard enough. But then there was another thing I saw that like, they said there's just thousand versions of you as it is because every single person you've ever interacted with, they only see you one, they see you a different way than every other person. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, it's almost like, well then who even are you? Because you're not even the person that you were yesterday. So then to one person, you could be mean because of one instance, but then to your mom that you've loved your whole life, she's always going to view you like that. So different people can see different traits of you. Correct. So it's like, maybe different. It, and we're all, we're shedding and changing every second of the day. And that's uh, a great point. Not one of us has been the same person since birth. I've had similar traits growing up. I've also lost and gained new traits. Yes, I've been the same type of person, but still everyone views you differently. There are people that view me as a super villain mm -hmm. and there's other people that view me as the best person on the planet. Is it Saturn's perception? Is it the, yes, it's Saturn. big, the Big Dipper's perception of you? Oh, stars have perceptions of people's personalities? No, they fucking don't because yeah. it's bullshit. Do you feel like I resonate well with mine? I also don't know anything about Gemini's. I learned the two-faced thing today. Uh-huh. If you feel like you're two-faced, 
then you can be a Gemini. But All if right. you don't feel like you're two-faced, <laughs> then screw astrology. Can I identify as a different sign? Yeah. Pisces. Do you think you act like a Pisces? Or yes. Yeah. I am 100% the more emotional of mm -hmm. everybody that I know. Yeah, I'm a Pisces rising and I cry like, what? every day. Yeah. So I feel that. <laughs> no, you're just an emotional oh, human. The Leo. How do you feel about being a Leo? It's good. I think I embodied my sign more when I was in high school because I was a lot more unhinged back then. Right. <laughs> Scorpio. Right. Oh my god. Okay. Unfortunately, I'm, I'm not short. I'm sorry. No, you're not. You guessed me as a Capricorn and said that I had all my shit together. And I really wish that you were right. <laughs> because the alternative or more like the reality and the stereotype of Scorpios is that we're, we're kind of a hot mess. I feel like Scorpios know how to get under my skin and they're cool playing under there and then like, well, how skin, is you getting like, shit this no. specific Sagittarius yes the only one I got right do you think you're toxic sometimes okay does that guy look toxic can we get real for two seconds please does that brother look toxic in any way his favorite song is toxic by Britney Spears that might be the closest he gets to toxic you cannot be Sometimes. <laughs> so you're not. Okay. Can you be toxic? Just a little bit. You got me right. I got you right, and I felt good about this one. My heart got broken by a fucking Libra. That's why I'm fucking scared of you. What? That, that makes sense. Do you feel like you fit into Libra? 100%. Yeah. What makes like sense? Things. She probably watched this video back and was like, damn, I look dumb. Like wardrobe stuff? Uh, probably not. <laughs> she's probably so ignorant, has no idea. Uh -huh. Yeah, she's probably still like, nah, there Or she's probably like, oh, I should have known it because of... Aquarius. Yes. Okay. Thank I you. love Geminis and I love Scorpios. My friend growing up was Gemini. She's so sweet and loving and kind and caring. Yeah, so... What about her See? other half? Her other half? <laughs> yeah. That's the Gemini I am. Um, I don't want to talk about it. Because the fucking comments, they're gonna be like, oh, astrology isn't fucking real. She thought she was gonna get them all fucking right. Yes. It doesn't matter, okay? It's just an off day. That's it. Oh my Ooh. God. I thought she was about to, I oh. she was about to So we got the master <laughs> astrologist. That's her answer. Her explanation is just an off day. So she was self-aware. She was getting to the, and then she was like. This is an example of the classic cognitive dissonance where somebody holds a belief. Her belief is astrology is real. And then reality or someone else challenges it. In this case, reality slapped her in the face. Because she's believed in it so deeply, she's unable, like the thought of it not being real is too, mentally damaging and difficult, mm -hmm. she'll rationalize in any way. Anyway, yeah, It's yeah. off day. If you believe in Santa Claus, and it's you know for a fact Santa Claus is real, and then you see your parents setting up the presents, up the presents and, they, and they tell me that, oh no, Santa's not real. No, you're lying. And in your head, you go, no, 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 no. Well, that one year, he stopped coming, so he came last year. But this year, you guys did the presents. That's what we said at the beginning. You don't even need to argue with them because clearly her at the end. She's just gonna say it's off day. She don't even care that she was challenged or that she was wrong. Proven yeah. wrong. Doesn't even matter. Well, off day. Well, this is stupid. Fuck you and all the commenters. And this experiment proved that it's complete bullshit. But off day, off day. Like, bro, get real with yourself. Yeah. It's funny how the guy who cares and knows the least about astrology gets the best out of everyone else, right. of course. The girl that said she was good at astrology and got everyone wrong ended up being so defensive. Of course. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that believes in astrology. Uh, this is fucking stupid. You got that right, astrology girl. Thank you comments, they bring my faith back yeah. to humanity. Fucking amazing how the girl who thought she knew everything got demolished in the end. That's facts. You're gonna get demolished every single time if you believe in this hoopla. Off I don't know. day. I think you can get her there every day of the week and it'll be this. It'll, it'll be an off too. day. <laughs> you could get her in there 365 days out of the year, and it would be a bad year. Yeah. This is why this pisses me off. Well, okay, we'll just let them have fun. We'll just let them believe in it. It's not hurting anyone. I think it is. Well, because we've been to colleges and there's actual girls. Stop talking to dudes just because they found mm -hmm. out what their sign was. Yes. Or they won't do something because that's not part of their trait. They'll limit themselves, literally, because their app says, they're angry today. M Mrs. Brown shirt, astrology girl. I bet you she's someone who claims to hate racism, judging a group of people simply based on the color of their skin. She would probably think that that's asinine. You can't choose your birthday. So you, you can't choose, choose your race and you can't choose your birthday. Yet you are willing to marginalize, make stereotypes, ignore, disrespect, make assumptions, invalidate. I don't know, like you'll break up with someone simply because they're a Gemini. You have the same logic 
as a racist. Let's call it space racism. Terrible. Spacism. It has terrible implications. And again, like the girl that I was talking to, I just played along. I played along with the game. Mm. I said, yeah, I'm a Libra. That's all you can do. I'm a Libra. She said, oh, I could tell. I could tell. <laughs> she said, but Libras always have this like, this strong hold on me. So, ah. And I was like, Gr whatever, girl. Sure. Did mm. she just assign a physical body feature to zodiac signs? Yeah, I, I, yeah. that's new. I learned something yeah, that's, new today. That's a new one. Brown shirt girl had too many biases, and it kind of blinded her uh, to who people really were. The guy guessing who knew very little about astrology took some more time to get to know people, the signs, and guess them more accurately because he didn't do a quick snap judgment. No, it was just pure luck, sorry. I don't interact with Libras because I once I knew a Libra who didn't treat me good. That sums up my main problem with astrology. Yeah, it, imagine saying, yeah, I, I saw a Mexican person and I had a one bad experience and I don't fuck with Mexicans now. Wouldn't that be ridiculous to yeah. say? Yet we can say it about this and treat people just the same and be just as mean to people. No, it's out of control. In a way, I envy people like that who believe in stuff like that because it shows how little critical thinking skills they have. And they probably live happier lives in a way where they take no accountability and everything just kind of happens around them. Well, it's the space that's the reason mm -hmm. why I'm miserable. Yeah, there's no it's scientific a, explanation to their stuff. So like being that level of intelligence, you don't think about shit as much. Oh yeah, no, you just yeah, go with the flow. Like you just life. be observing mm -hmm. and living. Just check your horoscope notification. All right. And then just be, just be a robot all day and go through the motions and not have any introspective thoughts. Should be keeping me up at night when I be thinking. These people don't think. Probably pretty peaceful. Mm -hmm. Probably better to be an NPC then. No, that's. Yeah. There's literally less stress involved. Nothing to worry about. You're not thinking about what's my purpose? What am I doing here? Why do I do the things I do? Who am I? They ain't, no, they ain't thinking about it. Just scroll on TikTok three more hours. Scroll on TikTok. Listen to Zodiac signs. La 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 la. And if you feel sad, just blame it on your birthday. Best episode yet. If this doesn't get views, it's because y'all are all Geminis. Yeah. Fuck Gemini's. Yeah. Rob didn't get to slap me because I was right. Hey. Hey. <laughs>